Good Thursday morning. Here we go. We're studying another parable today. I hope that these have been a blessing to you. I came across in Matthew chapter 13. That's the one we're studying all week. But in verse 34, uh, and he had just told about the parable of the yeast, uh, verse 33, and it's how yeast permeates the bread and the kingdom of God will permeate the whole world. These parables were so important to Jesus. Therefore, they must be important to us. Don't you agree with that? Verse 34, Jesus always used stories and illustrations like these when speaking to the crowds. In fact, he never spoke to them without using such parables. And then he lists, this fulfilled what God spoke through the prophet. And, and I, I will speak to you in parables. I will explain things hidden since the world, since the creation of the world. So even the prophets had predicted that he would speak, the Messiah would speak in parables. And so that's how Jesus taught, at least toward the end of his ministry years. It was all parables. So they must be important to him. I want us to look at the parable of the wheat and the weeds. And this one is one of the two that Jesus himself explained. But I want us to read them because it makes it so clear what should be important to us. And that, So Matthew 13 verse 24 says, Here's another story Jesus told. The kingdom of heaven is like a farmer who planted good seed in his field. But at that night, as the worker slept, the, his enemy came and planted weeds among the wheat, and then it slipped away. When the crop began to grow and produce grain, the weeds also grew, of course. The farmer's workers went to him and said, well, sir, the field where you, where you planted the good seed is full of weeds. Where did they come from? And he says, an enemy has done this. Should we pull out the weeds? No, you'll uproot the wheat if you do. So let both grow together until the harvest time. And then I will tell the harvesters to sort out the weeds, tie them into bundles and burn them and to put the wheat into the barn. There's so much symbolism there. We could spend time, I know we would figure it out. Because our eyes are, are enlightened by the Holy Spirit indwelling us. But this was so important. And he told the people, but remember, those who are not followers either don't understand these or they don't seem to care about them, do they? Jesus explained this to his disciples. But I think it's significant also. This... Verse 36 leads into his explanation. And I, I find this so interesting. He didn't say the parable and then give the explanation. It was some time later, and he says, verse 36, Then, leaving the crowds outside, Jesus went into the house. His so he left the crowds because they wouldn't accept it anyway. And he goes into the house and he tells his disciples this. And the disciples say, please explain to us the story of the weeds in the field. They didn't get it, did they? They needed Jesus to explain it. And I understand that because this whole concept of the kingdom of heaven spreading and growing like a plant, it was all new to them. And they didn't totally understand. Well, let's, let's see what Jesus said in answer to that, to their question. Jesus replied, verse 37, the son of man is the farmer who plants the good seed. That's himself. 
So he admits that he is the farmer in this illustration that plants the seed. The seed is the good news, the gospel. That's what he was doing. That's what his life was all about. That's why he came to earth in the form of a man. To plant the seed of the gospel so that, and we saw another press, so that it can spread throughout the whole wide world. So that's his plan. However, and he tells us that, the field is the world. The field is the world. So he's using a small field to represent all the possible places that the gospel could go. And the good seed represents the people of the kingdom. So we are, this in this illustration, we are the seeds, and he has put us, you and me, out into the world to grow more disciples. We work together. That's what the church, and I mean the universal church, is all about. We want to be the light to the world, spread the good news of the gospel. We are, according to this verse, represent the people of the world. The weeds are the people who belong to the evil one. Now, people don't say, I belong to the evil one, do they? They don't comprehend it. But Jesus says, those who are not with me are against me. There's only two types of people in the world. We, we may try to Oh, divide people by ethnicity or economic uh, things, by, by jobs, any number of ways. But the fact is there are only two types of people in the world, those who belong to the Lord and those who don't. And those who don't are choosing not to follow Jesus. That's the div real divider. None of those other things, because we know from Revelation that there'll be people from every single race and ethnicity and levels of society in heaven. There'll be no exclusions by the, any of those things. It's whether or not the person has found Jesus as their Lord. And we are the seed that according to this parable has put it, we've been put into the field, which is the world, the whole wide world. So they belong to the evil one. And, and he goes on, the enemy who planted the weeds among the wheat, just to be clear, is the devil. He will do, the devil, Satan, will do anything he can to squash the spreading of the news of that Jesus has risen from the dead and wants to be your savior. The harvest is the end of the world and the harvesters are the angels. Wow. Wow. Just as the weeds are sorted out and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of the world. And the son of man will send his angels and they will remove from his kingdom, everything that causes sin and all who do evil. That day is coming when there will be no more sin. Revelation 21, no more sin, no more pain. Life in the kingdom of God, heaven, will be absolutely perfect. But it's reserved for those. And the angels evidently will be involved with sorting out the people. Those who follow Jesus those who have chosen not to, and they don't want to. And just, this is the time of opportunity. So you and I, we've got to be good seeds, according to this parable of the wheat and the weeds. What a challenge for today, isn't it? Well, we're going to study another one tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying this. I sure am. Bye for now. Come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give.